these two, and we'll use one of these as a working copy. So we'll, we'll pretend this is my working copy. And then these are the ones that need to print still. And the first thing I need to do is um, make my uh, stencil. So I did this gray with wax paper. So I'm going to grab a blank screen. And reproduce that square with wax paper. So, um, yeah, an wax So what I'll do um, is just to give myself a, a template. I'm going to lay this down over the the gray, and I'll grab <coughs> um, tape. I have a roll of this out. That's what I'm for. Thank you. Um, so I'm just going to lay this on this side. We don't want anything on this side of the screen when we're printing because it'll get in the way of the squeegee, but it'll help me get the shape of my um, square that I've already got my working copy. This is, this is just to lay this out, and I'll remove this when I'm ready to print. Anytime we want to tape, block things out, make a stencil, we do it on this side of the screen. So I need to move this out of the way. And um, this is what wax paper is good for. Uh, it'll cover bigger areas, so I don't have to use a lot of, um, a lot of tape. And Cut this in half. And I'm just going to lay this over where I have the tape. I'm going to use the straight side. Damn. Curving wax paper. Hey, Bethany, would you like to tear paper? Tape for me while I'm gonna move this along. Sure. Maybe you can go on, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I didn't like that Here, thanks. So um I'm gonna yeah. at the top, I'm lining this up. And um, this is just a, wax paper is just a nice way to make a simple stencil, um, you know, basic shapes. I had one student try to do their whole print with just wax paper stencil, um, and it was the, uh, the bunny, or the, uh, was it, what's the bunny in Alice in Wonderland? It's not the, it's just the, the rabbit. rabbit. Yeah, the white rabbit. So she did the white rabbit. Um, with these thin areas, I can use that roll of tape with a wider roller. There we go. I can use that instead of um, the wax paper. Sorry. And I want to go all the way to the edge where the duct tape is. All right, now that stencil's ready. Flip it over and take this tape off. Put it here in case we can use it. Which um, so now I'm I'm gonna move stuff out of my way. Get this out of my way. And I'm going to line up my screen and my hinges and <coughs> make sure the hinge is on tight. So when you put this into the hinge, you really want to back the screen up so that it's against the wall of the hinge. Oh, wrong way. That's okay. Jeez. Of course, I have to go the wrong way on camera. I'm trying to get you out of here. I know. All right. 
So I really want to push it all the way up against the edge or this wall, or you can call it wall, a fence, whatever, so that the screen doesn't slip on you when you're printing. Um, and then I mentioned the other day we have these things that we call foam core feet. These uh, are placed on your the end of your